This uh, is the third part of uh, lesson number seven. In the last lesson, uh, we looked at a character manipulation program. In the last program, uh, we inputted some text from the user and we counted the number of characters in the text and the number of lines in the text. This time, we're going to go ahead um, and do a, a bit more complex operation of uh, characters okay i'm just going to write down what we are going to do in terms of comments okay because that's the best if the you know the output of the program is in the program itself it's really good okay let's say we're going to output you know this uh, let's uh, start with just uh, inputting uh, on the numbers so what's the output going to be? The output is going to be this. So we're just going to uh, write a table. I, I sort of like tables. So we're just going to output a table. So this is what the table will be. Characters and uh, so basically, right? For each character, how many times is it repeated? One, two, three and four. Okay. So because there are only four characters, uh, it have been outputted. So one should one and uh, two is like two times and uh, three is like uh, three times yes three times and um, four is like four times right so yeah and this is going to be uh, how what the output of the program is going to be and later on we're going to extend uh, this uh, output to all the other numbers characters special characters and a whole um, lot of other things okay but for now we, this program is going to be pretty simple it's going to just uh, take in numbers and it's going to uh, output this table okay as simple as that okay so let's uh, start writing this program okay uh, let's start modifying this program um, to the program that we want to write okay so first of all let me tell you that this while loop right this while loop is pretty much essential so this is not pretty much going to change uh, because uh, we are going to keep on inputting characters from the user okay and we're going to check uh, whether it is end of file or not that means whether the user has actually entered control d or not so and until unless the user enters control d we are uh, going to keep taking characters from the user so this uh, while loop will not change okay but we're not going to count characters so just remove them and now we are going to uh, you know count uh, write down the num uh, number of characters and number of lines so we don't want that right so let's just remove them so let's just be neater okay but <clears throat> let me tell you when we actually input the characters okay so we are only concerned about numbers so we are going to check whether um, the character is a number or not so i'll just tell you how do you check whether a character is number or not so it's very simple whether it is uh, less than zero whether it is uh, greater than equal to zero and uh, and c less than equal to nine so when you take a single uh, numeral right it has to uh, fall between these two zero and nine okay and uh, another thing is this um, whenever you are inputting a character you're not actually inputting a number you need to understand that it's a character uh, I i'll just tell you what uh, the difference between a character and a number is in a minute okay the difference between uh, character 0 and number 0 uh, let me show you that see as you see this right uh, these things when you see this um, a character 0 is actually represented as 48 in the ANSI characters what is ANSI characters for example any character that uh, C takes is in terms of ANSI characters ANSI characters has uh, you know has uh, around 256 uh, characters that it represents uh, okay I'm able to show only a few of them okay so and uh, it includes all your ABCDs all your special characters capital ABCD and everything okay all the characters and um, from 48 to 57 is 0 to 9 
so uh, that is the difference between the numeric the numeric constant zero and character zero the numeric constant zero is has value zero but uh, the character zero has value 48 so and that's the difference uh, i wanted to point out and uh, the character nine has a uh, value 57 so that is how the you know uh, nine is represented as 57 so what I uh, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Uh, see, when I say, when I input C from your uh, the keyboard, when you input say you are actually typing zero. If you type zero, if you're typing zero, but how C reads, it's it reads it as forty eight. So I can't say this. I can't say this. Okay, this would be totally wrong. Okay, but this would be perfectly fine. Because I'm saying it as a character. So I'm comparing a character to a character. So if I have to compare it to a number, it should be like this. 48 and 57. But <laughs> if I would do this, uh, I mean, uh, even myself would forget why I did this. Okay. So, it, the you know, the best way is this. Nine. Okay, so that's how we're going to compare uh, whether it's a line or not, whether it is a number or not, sorry. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, uh, before we proceed, uh, I would want to introduce a concept called as arrays. Okay, so what are these uh, arrays? How are they declared? Let's just see. Okay, array is nothing but... Um, a list of variables uh, so you declare a variable you declare one character right when you declare an integer in C it's it you're declaring one integer okay so if I want to declare 10 such integers what do I do I can declare it as this int int c1 int c2 c3 int c4 c5 Okay, so this is how I would declare if I want to declare five integers, okay, and ten as c six, c seven, whatever. But uh, if I would want to initialize this to zero, you know, at all at once, what do I do, right? Or if I want to operate all these five, you know, in a very similar way, okay, uh, it would be, have been very difficult. Okay, so an array, what it does is it allows. Uh, to declare uh, any uh, declare or uh, five integers or ten integers or whatever you want okay so what are we going to declare we're going to declare uh, number of characters okay that is as 10 so what so for example we're going to count the repetition of each numeral right or 0 to 9 so 0 to 9 is 10 okay and um, uh, we're going to store it in an array. So this is like declaring 10 variables. So how do you uh, access each of the 10 variables? Like this underscore of 0. It's the first variable. Number underscore cares of 1 is second variable. And uh, 2 is third variable. And uh, underscore cares of 9 is the tenth variable so it's only 0 to n minus 1 where n is the number of variables you have actually declared okay so that's how uh, you declare arrays and uh, that's the use of arrays okay so I'll just tell you how we use arrays in this uh, program okay so first of all these are used to count okay so let's just initialize it okay so how do you initialize using a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus this is you know one of the most common forms of for loop you will see pairs of i equal to zero so what basically it does um, i would just want to uh, explain this for loop okay i'll, ju I'll just uh, explain this for loop in the next lesson so i'm just going to end this lesson now because of um, I, I have decided that all lessons will be not more than 10 minutes okay